Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain Ego the Living Planet in about a minute. Ego's first appearance was in Thor, number 132, back in September of 1966, and he was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. After Kirby received so much praise for Galactus and the Silver Surfer, he began creating a much larger universe for Marvel, beginning with a compound virus that merged with a scientist to become a living planet. That origin was later scrapped for the idea that Ego was created by the Stranger, along with a sibling named Alter Ego, who was given to the Collector so the Stranger could determine which environment would support the greatest will in a creature, freedom or captivity. Ego would prove supreme and destroy his brother, leaving what's left of Super Ego as a moon in Ego's orbit. A natural enemy and entree for Galactus, Ego hails from the Black Galaxy. He's fought for his life against Galactus several times, often eliciting the help of powerful heroes like Thor. While some writers have depicted him as feeble-minded, Ego is unbelievably intelligent. His abilities include complete control over his entire mass, allowing him to change his terrain and create constructs like buildings or attack tendrils. He can absorb and digest living beings, heat up his core temperature, and increase his antibodies to eliminate intruders. Ego also boasts psionic powers on par with Professor X. He has the capability of entering the hyperspace dimension, where he can travel much faster than the speed of light. Ego has been obliterated and had his pieces sent into the sun, but his consciousness is in every atom of his being, so if even a single particle remains, then he will eventually reform. And that's Ego in about a minute.